we got to amend something. We messed it up. We're sorry. All right. So it's not the uh, we don't subtract each other's rolls from the from the winner. So what that means is we roll whoever wins uses his total minus or without subtractions to roll for damage. Right. Um, so on my first guy here, he actually had a 15 as his total result. Right. So 15 would have means that um, he has to roll 1d6 and uh, find out what happens to one of his. His crewman. Right. And my roll on him effectively killed this guy. Yeah. So his corporal is now removed. Yeah, corporal's removed. So, so he's rolling 1d6. Minus two. Yep, yeah, 1d6. Go ahead. No, you're rolling 1d6. Okay. One. A one. The crew member of the transponder model is pinned. Okay, so I've got a pinned guy inside there. Yeah. So we're going to put a little marker over here. Show that he's pinned. All right. Awesome. And the other guy's dead. So we're good there. All right. So, so now we're going to do some actions. shooting over here. Machine gun's going to go off first. So we've got two shots. They are 3d6. He is right at 20 centimeters. So he's going to get an additional 2d6. 5d6. <laughs> this guy's dead. <laughs> he's not in cover, and he did not run last nope. time because he just moved and shot. So he gets nothing. Nice. So we're going to mow him down here. Yeah. There's 10. That was a 3. 16, 17, 21 total. All right. Sergeant is dead. Okay, so that was two shots. We've got two shots going on the bazooka. Okay, now he did run, so he gets a 1d6. Yep. Woo! And you're rolling 5d6 on him? Oh, great. Hang on. Sorry. Only 46? Yeah, because he's beyond the 20 centimeters. Yep. So it is only 46. Oh, and I rolled a nice one. Okay, so 10. 15, 19. Nice, so he's, so he's dead. dead. Ooh, one more. First shot, and I've got might, three shots break, on him. Now, originally he was going to get cover, and I'm going to say he's still going to get 1d6 cover. Okay, plus he ran as well. Yep. Thank you for hitting that dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm at 15, 19. So I got a seven. So he's going to be pinned, pinned for the first shot. Okay. Second shot. 8, 10, 15, 19 again. Minus 4. So that would be 15, which is killed in action. It is. So he Damn. is dead. So that means I have reached my break point. I have to start making priority to, um, uh, willpower tests on my guys. Yep. So hang on a second. Right, so I have to start making um, willpower checks for everybody, basically. Yep. Um, so it's roll 2d6. You add their tactical value. Um, if they have a uh, corporal or a sergeant, some leader type around them, they can use they theirs. Don't. Unfortunately for them. All right. So what we're doing here? Um, there is it. All right. Just want to make sure we're doing it correctly. You got Captain Titus looking over your shoulder. Mind there. it. We are. Uh, we are still. We're still uh, learning the game here. All right, so 2d6, um, I have to get 11 or more to keep fighting, plus their tactical value. So All right. let's go with this guy right here. Oh, he's good. So he's good. Medic. He's awesome. He's good. Paratrooper. Ooh, he's good. He's good. Okay. How about the guy that's attacking a tank let's over here? Let's do this guy over here. He, he was already pretty brave before. Ooh, let's see, he's he's awesome. It. Okay. okay, machine gun team. You know, you, it's important to note that they're a section and you only roll once for the entire section. Oh! oh it looks like the section is actually retreating. That is uh, very That's cool. bad. Very okay. good And me. the tank. And the tank. Now the tank only has a VT of three, three. but they're still good. So it looks like he's still good. All right, awesome. So only lost one on that. So. Yeah. Wow, but I lost an important one. Yeah, true. My machine gun team. True. That's, that's very bad for me. All right. Okay. My medic was going to take a shot, but he has no visible targets now. So he has no target of opportunity, so effectively he's just... Just... Chilling. Hey, what's up, man? What's and up? his other guy doesn't have his target anymore either. Okay. Well, he was going to move out. So he doesn't know his target's gone yet. True. So he could move out, and he might, depending on where he goes. I seriously doubt it, but he could have a shot off on the the guy that's assaulting the tank there. So we're going to come out, and we're actually going to go out 15 centimeters, which would put him right there. And I ooh, I can barely see his base. So that is not a valid target. Not a valid target. All righty. So next phase it is on my priority. Yep. So I am going to take my tank here, move up 
and engage his tank. Awesome. My tank, let's see here. Now I would, based on going off of the hull here, be able to draw a line of sight to him. But I'm going to actually go for a, an engage action, so I'm actually going to move and pull forward just a little bit. One, to try to run over the guy that was brave <laughs> enough to attack me, and two, so I can shoot him. Even if he does get to move forward, I'm still going to be able to, to draw a line of sight to him. Nice. All right. Um, my next action, my, uh, my medic here, is going to fire at this guy. All right. That's, that's this guy right here? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Um, in response to that, the guy that is no longer visible is going to run over here back into cover. Nice. All right. And then... This paratrooper is going to just move out and attempt to shoot him as well. Okay. Um, hopefully I have enough space for this, but the guy that's, that's hanging out here, I keep bumping these walls, um, that was shooting at the guys over here, he's actually going to move over here and try to draw a line of sight to somebody pulling out. All right. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I did not roll well. Both these guys rolled a 9, my tank rolled an 11. Okay. I've got 11 on this guy, so he's going to be able to run out before he takes his shot off, so that's a good thing. I've got 15, he's actually going to be able to move over here and be able to, to do something, but he might be able to draw a line of sight to the medic, depending on how far he gets to move. So we'll see. He's going to go first, and we've got 11 on my tank. I had priority, so mine will actually go first. So Brutal. We'll, let's see what happens. Yeah. This guy's equipped with a car 98, so he's only getting a single shot. 15 centimeters puts him right there. Now, I am honestly thinking he does not have a shot, personally. Um, I would it's, say you do, call. but... I'll let you make the call. I think you can, but I'm still pretty much like half hidden in cover, and you're right. kind of half hidden in cover. So, just like a 1d6. 1d6? Yeah. Okay. Now let's check range. In this case, we are at 28 centimeters. So that puts the car 98 at plus 1d6. So I got 3d6 plus 1d6, but I moved. All right. So 8, 9, 13, or 14. Minus 6. Doesn't do anything. Nothing. All right. All right. So that was 15. Yep, so now you're 11. Now 11 is going to go, so he's going <clears> to... <throat> he was originally going to run this way, but the guy's in the way, so he's going to have to run over that way now. Try to get out of out of harm's way. He's a scared pansy girl. All right, now your tank. All right, so first thing we're doing is we're turning. Now he's not turning 45 degrees. So I'm gonna say that it's still gonna use a centimeter, but he's not gonna use all of his movement anyway. And he's just gonna move forward partially. So you have to do your uh, your Okay, so I roll 1d6 and I have to mm -hmm. get my tactical value or less. Correct. Tactical value is four, so here we go. Oh, Four. so it's right on it. Yeah. So he's... He's actually pinned. Yeah, he's actually pinned. Okay. So my tank would have moved forward a little bit. And the way the rules work is it says you just... If the tank would stop on top of the model that's pinned, you just move the model out of the way. Off to the side. Off to the side. Just, yeah. And it makes sense. Yeah. It really does. Okay, so now I'm going to open fire here. And I did pull up a little bit. Oh, it didn't pull up far enough. You're just outside 20 centimeters. Actually, about 25. Nice. Okay. That... Shooting the armor-piercing shells is plus 1d6, so it gives me 4d6. So now, just just for clarification, the engage action is move and shoot. So I've got the driver moving and shooting, or moving rather, got a guy mm -hmm. shooting. So that's two actions. I've got a guy inside that was pinned, mm -hmm. so I don't have enough guys to do a reload action. The guy that is pinned is going to stand up. Because this has what's called a slow reload characteristic, the yep. same as the Sherman, that takes two actions to reload the gun, the main gun. Right. And I'm down a guy, if you guys remember earlier in the game, I lost one. So the pinned guy will no longer be pinned, effectively. He'll be standing up this turn. Because he's standing up, but I don't have enough guys in there to, to do a reload. Nice. That's okay, though. All right. So he's rolling his dice plus his uh, ballistic value yep. against my dice and my armor value. Right, and in this case, doing the armor-piercing shells, the ballistic value is 6. All right, so I'm rolling 2d6 plus my armor. Oh, what did I get there? 5 plus 7. Okay, so 12. 
14, 17 plus 9 is 26. Okay, and then I have um, my dice plus my armor is 12. Okay, so that's a difference of 14. All right, that so is heavy damage. We come over here. That one. Where's our. We've got too many papers we have all over the table here. Books over here. <laughs> Hang All righty, here we go. Vehicle heavy damage. Um, we find 14 or 15 that a weapon has been hit and is useless. Moreover, 1d3 crew members or transport models roll are hit. So I have to roll a d3. Okay, so, so one model two. is hit. So one model is hit, and now I have to roll down the here. Table. And I get a 1, so I have pinned. one model pinned. Okay. But my but main I, gun is useless. Yep, I just blew up his this main is, gun. Uh, this is really bad for me. This is looking out. It's going to be very bad. So that basically means that I cannot use his gun anymore. Um, and I have a pinned model in there. However, I can still move. Yep. As per my turn. I just cannot shoot. Actually, I guess we could just go like this. Maybe. There it goes. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so I get to roll 1d6 for my movement. So I get oh. to move a total of one extra centimeter. And, uh, James, you want to take this? Yep. Okay. All right. So he can move 26 centimeters. Ooh. Right there. All right. Now, for those of you that have been following around, following along with our, uh, our bat reps, this game can change very fast. Very fast, yes. as you can see. Because, like, honestly, I thought I was on the ropes, and he had to take a bunch of morale checks. Yeah, which so. is very brutal. All right. So now I get to make some more moves. So all your guys have moved. Yep, all my guys have, have done their thing. So you've got okay. this guy here that was going to take a pot shot at him. And he's not going to be able to see him anymore. Yep. So he's not going to do anything. Now this guy is going, actually going to move out. Mm -hmm. And his attempt was to shoot at him. Right. But he, and he, he can draw a line of sight to him. He can draw a line of sight. So I'm him. going to draw a line of sight to him. Because it is closest model. Yep. And I am within 20 centimeters using my M1 Garand. That gives me plus two dice to my... 3d6. Okay. He ran, and so he I get two one. shots. So you get one dice, and I yep. actually moved, so I minus one dice. So 46 yep. against one. Six. Ooh! And that did really well, but Ooh. I did as well. Uh -oh. So I am at 12. That puts me at 16, 17, 18. Minus six. Minus six. So that's going to pin him. Yep. So I get shot number two. Three. Not so good. But he didn't roll as good either. No. So. so I am at 9, 10, 14. So he's pinned again. So my guy is hiding now. He's like, help me! All right. Don't shoot at me! Now, James, do you have any more activations? Um... Oh, yeah, he did move. Yep. So, okay. he's done. I, am... I have one more activation. Uh -huh. It's this guy here. He is going to move out and shoot at him. Awesome. Um, so, I'm going to double check range here. Yep. I'm above 20 centimeters. Correct. So, I believe I'm only at 1d6. Um, okay. I want to verify that because the grand is in... Interesting. Yep, one d six. Okay. Okay. So, so the model ran last time. Yep. So he's still getting his one d six. As far as I'm, I yep. know. Ooh, I think he's dead. Okay, I think he is too. So I just got um, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Minus so two. Fifteen. Kills him. Bam. So he's at his break point. So now he has to start making raw checks as well. Yep. Here, here we, we go. Start here and just work our way over. So we got this guy here. Four, eight, ten. So he does not. 11. He does not. He has to retreat. Okay. Now, the corporal is over here, which is well out of his 20 centimeter range. Which is unfortunate because if he could have added his VT, that he would have stayed on. Okay. Machine gun team. Oh. Four, five, six, seven, plus four. That's That's 11. That's 11. He's good. We're good. Okay. Medic over here. He is within 20 centimeters, so he gets so he to use the his. VT of five. Yep. And that's not going to be enough. Five and four. Bummer. He runs off. See, like we said, this game changes really fast. And I keep nailing those trees. Yeah, I keep nailing all the trees, too. <laughs> now the corporal, he passes. He's good. And the tank. Five, six, seven, eight, plus and three. It's Barely really passes. Good. Now, it's also important to note that I've re met my break point once and a half. If I lose two more guys, then I automatically retreat. Granted, that's all I have, because the tank doesn't count. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you have met your break point once. Once, and you've got one extra guy there. But ultimately, I'd have to lose my whole force in order to. So it's either you have to kill me all, or that's it. <laughs> so we are extremely weakened. And all right, is this that is all of your activations. Yes, yeah, this is all my activations. So we are going to start turn seven now. Awesome. All I right. still have a fully functional tank, which is a good thing for me, and hoping that it will help me win the game. 
Okay, I still have a guy on the field with five. Okay, I only have a guy with four in my highest one right now, so I you win priority issue. again. Once again. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, am, I am defensive here. I had my bunker that I, I ran out of right away. I so. know, seriously. What's up with that? <laughs> All right, James. First activation. First activation. I think this is going to be it. We've got clear line of fire with no cover to these guys here. We're going to go um, four and three from the machine gun. All right. Then this guy here, he's actually going to run out over here. Okay. Next activation is my corporal will move over here and shoot at the opportunity. Okay. This guy right here is going to run out over here. Okay. Awesome. All right. And then I have my tank over here who is going to do another move. This time he's going to actually turn 45 degrees, try to run over the guy again that's pinned <laughs> and take another shot at the tank. All right. But at the same time, this time I no longer have a guy that is um, pinned. So the very first thing I have to do is use two actions to reload. Okay. Then I'm doing an engage action. So the pilot or the driver is turning, moving the vehicle, and I have another guy shooting. If I still had a fifth guy, I'd open up my machine gun at him. So my hope is that I can kind of grind him into the ground with my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's roll priority. My, well, I still have one more action. Oh, yeah, you do. Sorry. Um, my medic here, he is going to move out and hopefully shoot at this guy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and roll. Our so priority, my corporal is going to move out, so hopefully I can move out far enough and draw a line of sight to one of these two guys here. Then after that is a 12 that Brett rolled. This one here. Okay, so he's going to move he's up. Just, he's just running. Yeah, he, okay, he's just yeah. running over there. So Actually, no, yeah, this guy was running here, this yeah. guy was running this way, yeah. that guy was moving out. Okay, right. so yeah. This guy's moving up there here. So then this guy here is going to shoot over here. Okay. And then my 11 is moving mm -hmm. out to shoot him. Yep, then and then 10. my 10 is moving, running out this way. And then my tank is going to turn to grind him and shoot his tank. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, so he's going to move out 15 centimeters. Puts him right there. Now, line of sight is closest. Yeah, pretty much. It's going to be right there. Yeah, this guy here. here. Okay, so I'm going to say you're going to get 1d6 from that. Okay. It's, it's ballpark, but it's a friendly game, so we're Works fine. Checking range. Inside 20 centimeters, we're actually at 19 centimeters. It's an MP40, so I've got plus 2d6, but he did move, so it's only plus 1d6. And I've got three, three shots. shots. Nice. So 10, 14, 17, 18, minus 4, 14. Dead. No, he's pinned, or wounded. Minus 4, you said oh, 18 yep. minus 4. Yeah. Yep. So he's, he's, he's wounded. wounded and pinned. Okay. So the second shot is Ooh. 15, 19. Minus one, he is dead. Okay. All right. All right, now, that was your 12? Yep, so he cannot do anything. Okay, He's so dead. My 11, okay. I'm gonna open fire on him. Because that's right. the only one he has up. Eh, he can see him, but I'd say that'd be a 2d6 cover. Okay. What do you think? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna go four and three. Okay. So that is checking range. I'm sure that's out of 20 centimeters, though. Yeah. What about this guy here? 30. That guy is at 22. So both of them are outside of 20, so he's only getting plus 1d6. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 46. So do this guy first? Yep. Okay. I'll shoot at him first. And we've got 12, 14, 17. He's dead. Okay, and then we'll shoot at him, get 2d6 there. No, that was only a 3. I'll keep that one as a 3. Sorry. No, you're fine. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. No. Even with, if that was a 12, that would have been 12, 13, 14, 18. Minus it still nine. wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Okay, I'll roll it because we're not hitting. We're trying to anyway. I'm going to re-roll that one you can. <laughs> it was worse. Okay, so 15, 19, 21, minus 4. He's dead. He's dead. All right. So, effectively, what has happened here is I have lost my entire force. My yep. tank is destroyed. It cannot do anything, so that's game. Yep. It does have one guy here, but... Wow. Yeah. What's one guy doing? Yeah. So, all right. Good job, James. Good game. It went back and forth, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this game. We do 
offer this as a service, feel free to contact me. We do offer 20% across the board off of uh, Warlord Games. So if you want to set up an operation squad or what's going to be soon uh, Bolt Action Games, feel free to let me know and we're more than happy to set up a project for you. All right, cool. And how do they contact you? Just bluetablepainting at gmail.com. Awesome. All right, thanks, James.